yo hello again youtube today we are learning how to draft a pattern for a bomber jacket i thought i would take this as a perfect opportunity to teach what i have learned about drafting patterns or drafting a basic jacket pattern um you might see that i'm kind of doing it uh an easy way like a simplified way uh you see that that's what i do because i like to save time and i like to just make everything simple so that um it's easier for me to to make clothes and so uh the patterns that we're going to be making they're going to be all labeled so we're going to have uh like the size how many to cut uh like the place on fold a mark um and yeah definitely like and subscribe if you haven't um and let's get into the next slide so a big important question that i like to ask is why and today we're asking why do we have to use a sewing pattern um well number one every garment that you make can be identical so this means that when you're sewing every medium is going to be the exact same measurement every small is going to be the same measurement um and it also means that you can be better organized um this means that when you have to cut something you don't have to now think about the measurements that you have to cut on on the garment because now you have a pattern and you just have to cut what's there this means that you, you can save a lot of time you can save a lot of time um which is basically our third point faster cutting you can cut a lot faster because you have a pattern you have the measurements already and the last point um is that anyone can cut so if you're unavailable someone can cut for you um and if you're working at a in a situation where you guys are it's a lot of designers making something you know that someone can cut and the other people can just start sewing really so those are the benefits of using uh a sewing pattern and today we're just learning how to make one <laughs> you will need some pattern paper you will also need a pen a marker a pair of scissors and a ruler as well the first thing you want to do is mark the bodice block now this bodice block is around 12 and a half inches wide by 22 and a half inches long um, and you will want to fold the piece of pattern paper the way that I have mine folded so this measurement here is 11 and a half inches and as you can see there's Going to be a piece of uh, paper under and you are just gonna mark half an inch away from that and the piece of paper under is going to be the front the one that is above it is going to be our back we start by marking our neck hole and it's three and a half inches out from the edge of the back and one and a half inches down from here then you just connect these with a, a curve that kind of looks like this um, the next thing you're going to do is mark one inch from up here mark one and you connect that line that point to that point to make the shoulder line the next thing you're going to do is mark the armhole which is 10 inches uh, open just mark there by 10 and then mark two inches in from the outside of the shoulder line the next thing you're going to do is just connect these lines with a curve that's going to be your armhole just connect these just like this making sure that you know you try and keep it like this the next step that you're going to do is actually cut these out
so this is like the basic body piece the part on top is the back and the and the bottom part will be our front and so now we just have to mark our new neck hole um which is going to be two and a half inches down from that line over there from that edge and then connect that to this point kind of like this after that you want to take um like six eighths of an inch um mark that here and there and you're gonna draw a line from those two points so the space between the line and the edge is six eighths of an inch um and you're gonna cut that piece out and you're gonna cut along this line over here making sure that after you do this the shoulder seams are the same size so you're gonna um compare these you're gonna see if the shoulder seams are the same size and it looks like they are if they aren't you're just gonna trim a little bit um but yeah after that you're gonna wanna label your patterns um and i start with my pattern code then i write what the pattern is for it's like a bomber jacket right obviously um after that i write the what what the pattern piece is so it's a back then i write the size and then i write where the fold is is going to be um and that is all i need um the last thing you want to write down though is how many pieces you have to cut the last thing we're gonna draft is the sleeve and now we are marking 10 and a half inches from from there and then 22 and a half inches from this corner there then you're just gonna draw a line going up it's supposed to be perpendicular to the edge and then as well as a line here um then you're gonna mark three and a half inches in gonna mark three and a half inches in from that mark that you did uh, initially and then here at the sleeve open we're gonna mark five and a half inches or actually let's make it six then you're gonna connect those two points with a straight line using a ruler After that, you're going to draw a curve that looks a little bit like this. It goes inwards from here, then outwards when it gets around here. What you want to do next is cut out the piece that you just drafted. And here's some footage of me actually writing down um, how many things to cut. And I also write down the lining, how many of the lining you, you have to cut. So you're going to cut the exact same piece for the lining. Uh, also, leave a notch here, but here you have your complete sleeve piece. Next piece you're going to you're gonna draft, you're going to mark 8 inches this way. Then you're going to mark two and a half inches over here the next thing you're gonna do is just like draft a line going this way make make sure it's straight and then you are going to measure uh five inches leave a mark there and then can draw a connecting line between those two points um try and get the shape to be like this then you're going to draft and cut out these pieces. Um, all the measurements are here and I have labeled everything. These, This is the cuff, the bottom ribbing and the that little piece or those little pieces um, by, by the zip at the bottom. 
and this is the measurements for the pocket that's inside you're just gonna cut this you're just gonna cut this out and draft this box on your piece of fabric uh, again all the measurements are here um, and there you have it this is your complete pattern you have your two body pieces you have your sleeve piece and you know all these other smaller pieces that you need um, it's very important that you label where your folds are going to be um, but yeah definitely uh, thank you for watching happy sewing like and subscribe if you haven't um we just reached 200 so thank you for 200 subscribers um and yeah i'll definitely see you next time hopefully with a uh another exciting sewing project another exciting thing to learn if you'd like to know how to change the pattern to get other sizes check out uh what i have down in the description below i'll write down all the measurements there and happy sewing